about tell us about the importance of what's being done here at Bowie. Well, today we're uh, bringing our one of our congressmen. congressmen we're showing what the National Guard does for the state of Texas and also for the rest of the nation. He's been out to Camp Bowie a while ago. We've had some modifications. And we're going to show him how we train, how we train our soldiers, prep them for not only fighting fires because we do that here, but also all of our wartime skills. So we want to see some introduce them to our firefighting team uh, from Austin at uh, the ABIA International Airport. We show them the helicopters that we use, we show them the different buckets we use to drop fire. You know, for instance, we've dropped five million, over five million gallons of water on fires this year, not in 2012, but since January of 11 to January of this year. Fire season hasn't ended. Usually we have a, a law that has an annual consider and continue. We even had helicopters on alert on Sunday, there, right before the big rain hit, because the conditions were right for that. So we showed Congressman Conway that also. We're also quite concerned about the pending budget cuts. One of our ideas, and it's not just Major General Nichols, but it's the Air National Guard, Army National Guard, would like our folks to consider looking more towards the Guard, relying more on the Guard take us back to a militia nation, how we were designed, and rely on the guard for the one safe way, and we take the assets that were cut from the active duty and put them Is there anything you say that's vulnerable to those cuts? I think every single uh, part of the National Guard is vulnerable, the Air Guard and the Army Guard, because we're all going to have to save some money somewhere, and something's going to have to be cut. The vulnerability right now is I think that the uh, Air Force is looking to cut the Air National Guard higher rate than we're going to cut uh, themselves by uh, quite a long shot. Okay, and uh, what kind of effect can it have on a community like Brownwood? A community like Brownwood, we, we have a certain number of full-time folks that are here every day, day in and day out, that help keep up the range. We have a great partnership. We actually live in Brownwood also. But if, if Brownwood was to close, or if Camp Bowie was to close, those full-time jobs would go away. And also the, the income that comes into Brownwood when our soldiers come here and drill and our soldiers come here and train throughout that time. Also the community support. You know, we help fight fires. We're here in times of flood. We're here in times of uh, any kind of disaster or help that Brownwood needs. We also use some of our innovative readiness training that we have to do, that we have to accomplish each year, and we can turn that back into the community. So that would all go away. And the connection of the citizen soldier Away. It goes back to our roots again. It goes back to 375 years ago when the first militia stood up. Those were citizen soldiers coming forward to, to uh, defend America at the time. And we have a 375 year history of doing that. And, it, and it's the way it should be.